Hello viewers. You are watching Fun with Programming Languages. In the previous section, we have learned about interfaces, and now we are going to learn about the abstract classes and how it works and what is the difference between the abstract classes and interface. And here, what is an abstract class? An abstract class is nothing but a class which contains both normal methods and abstract methods. What is an abstract method? Here, abstract method is nothing but a method which has only declaration but no definition. And to declare a class as an abstract class and to declare a method as an abstract method, we are going for a keyword called abstract. abstract. This is the keyword which is used to get these abstract, these abstract classes. And now we are going to write, a, see a simple example of these abstract classes about that. And now I am going to create a class which is going to be abstract, which is going to be abstract. And here I am giving a method definition as empty like this one and I am giving only a declaration but no definition. Make that a clear point. I am not giving any definition for my method. Okay. And now I am going to extend this demo class and here the method which is going to extend that abstract class have to give the definition for that abstract method. I already told you previously that a, a class or a method which is going to be abstract is to be declared as abstract. So this is the one. And to know that that method is running we are going to give something like mm, what next just my method is running fine and now i'm going to call my main method and here in this main method I have to create an object for the class which is going to give the definition for that abstract class, abstract method actually. And here I am getting you the object and from that object I am going to call the method. I just call the method. So the program is completed and my program is named is going to a demo dot java and now I'm printing this one java c a demo dot java and so our program is get compiled and here I get this one as my method is running we get the output so here we just did nothing we are going to give the definition for the classes which are the methods which are declared in another abstract class and giving the definition for that method which is extending that one that is inheriting the properties from that one this is the main thing here okay thank you viewers thank you for watching our video